Hello everyone, welcome to this fifth video on implementing Twitter API. In the previous video, we simply retrieved a response and uh, we displayed it. We had no login or logout option. Also, we retrieved a data based on a specific username. In this video, we'll try to provide a login and logout option for user so that user can log in using our application into Twitter. Moreover, we'll try to create a session uh, we'll try to re retrieve some additional attributes like uh, profile image, uh, user information, profile banner image, and list of followers, list of following. And uh, we'll also try to provide an option uh, through which user can uh, post a tweet to Twitter using our script. One more important point I would like to mention is uh, as we keep on adding more and more elements to our script for retrieving data and uh, as well as displaying data, the page might take a while to load because it has to render the entire response and it has to convert uh, it to an array and display it in a uh, proper manner. So it might take a while to load the page. So let's get started on the implementational part now. We'll create a new project on our local system. We'll create a new folder here and we'll name it as a uh, complex. So we'll be needing the same authorization files like we used in our previous uh, implementation. So we'll go to the simple folder. We'll copy the folder, include. So now we'll create a one more file in include folder that will be like our configuration file. It will hold the values for few elements. So let's uh, create new PHP script and we'll name it as a config. So we'll use this uh, file to hold the following elements. We'll define new elements as follows. Define. All caps, uh, consumer key. We'll define one more element as uh, consumer secret. And one more element as O authorization callback. We'll get uh, the consumer key and consumer secret values from application management. So we'll get the consumer key and we'll get the consumer secret. So the third element uh, that is O authorization callback is an URL. So what exactly happens is when a user logs in using our application and when the identity of user is uh, verified successfully, so that time the control uh, goes back to a page. So you need to mention the link or the URL of that page uh, in the authorization callback. So we'll mention the link as uh, So this is our local host uh, URL. Moreover, in that we'll have created a new folder that's a uh, complex. And we'll be creating a new file uh, here as a uh, process.php. So this uh, page, uh, this specific page process.php will handle all the request. It will deal with uh, creating uh, a session. It will deal with uh, calling the necessary functions for the validation of user and the validation of request. Let's uh, save this file and we'll go back a folder. We'll create a new file process.php. It will deal with creating a session and uh, it will also deal with authenticating a user. So let's create a file. We'll create a session using session start. Uh, it must be the first thing which we include in our uh, PHP script. So after that we'll include the authorization files like we did in uh, our previous implementation. We'll import the config file as well. So let's uh, use include once command.
let's uh, save the file so we will be using some uh, super global variables from PHP like session and request so let's uh, get on with uh, if condition Let's add, uh, let's add one more condition The request uh, super global variable is used to collect data and uh, session super global variable is used to initiate or pass on the values which we select using session. So the session starts with session start function and the session variables are set with session uh, global variable. So what this if condition does is it uh, checks whether the authorization token from request and the token variable from session. They, they both match uh, the authorization token from the present request or not. So if uh, the combination of the tokens doesn't match the present uh, token, it means that the token is old. So the session needs to be destroyed here. So we'll type session destroy. So this will destroy the session as the token value is invalid. So now the control needs to be redirected to some other page. So for that we'll use header function and we'll mention the location of uh, the page, uh, mainly the index page. So let's uh, type uh, header. Location. We'll mention index page here, index.php. This means uh, that the index page is present in the same directory as uh, the process.php. So this uh, if condition is processed uh, when the value of uh, token is invalid. So now let's uh, try to write the else part which uh, would process uh, if the token value is valid. So let's write else if let's uh, just copy this statement and we'll just check uh, if it's uh, equal so now let's uh, open the condition so what this uh, else if condition means is that uh, the token value uh, is valid and we need to send out a request for authorization so let's uh, create connection variable and let's uh, call new uh, twitter auth function that is twitter authorization function so new twitter authorization function so this uh, twitter o authorization function uh, name is coming from authorization files so you need to type exactly so this function has uh, four parameters that is uh, the consumer key consumer secret the token from session and the token secret from session so we'll type Now we'll call the method as a get access token and we'll store the response we receive in access token variable. So let's create a variable as a access token. Let's use uh, the connection variable to call get access method.
Now we'll use another if else condition to check whether our request was fulfilled or not. And if the connection variable we have created has returned a response or not. So let's type if connection HTTP code is equal to 200. So this uh, HTTP code 200 means uh, that our request was fulfilled successfully and it's uh, returning a response. So let's try to initialize uh, the session variables now. So that will be session status is it verified. It's verified uh, just because of uh, the HTTP code 200 as uh, the request is fulfilled successfully. Now we'll also initia initialize the value for session as request to va variable Now we'll clear the token and token secret session variables using unset function and we'll redirect uh, the control to our index.php. So let's type unset session token. Similarly, unset. session token secret header location index dot php so let's write a uh, else condition now that means uh, if the HTTP code is other than 200 then we need to display an error message. So let's uh, write else die error try later. Let's save the file. Now we'll write the else part for this if condition. So let's write else. Now we'll check uh, if the value associated with the get uh, global variable is uh, invalid. If the value is invalid then we'll redirect the page to our index.php and we'll kill the process here. So let's uh, type if is set denied header location index dot php and we'll use a die function to kill the process we'll be calling a twitter authorization function again using connection variable we'll call it uh, for uh, authenticating the request again so let's call connection new twitter oauth that is twitter authorization function and we'll pass uh, parameters as consumer key and consumer secret we'll call uh, the get request token method again using request uh, token variable so let's uh, create a new variable as a request token connection get request token o a u t h callback so now when this uh, request is successfully processed the variable uh, request token holds 
the token information received from from Twitter. So we need to copy that uh, information into local session variables. So we'll do that by creating session token is equal to request token authorization token. Similarly, for a token secret as well. Now we'll write if else condition to check if the HTTP code for connection variable is 200. If it is, then we'll authorize the redirection of the control. And if it's not, then we'll show an error message. So let's write a if else condition. Now we'll redirect the control to the Twitter URL. So we'll write header and we'll mention location. In the else part, we'll show an error message using die. Let's uh, save the file. So that's it for process.php. In the next video, we'll create index.php, uh, which will deal with requesting, retrieving, and displaying of data.